Hey folks, yesterday I was looking at my SE5A with exasperation, dismay, maybe even a bit of despair, and cursing myself for having tried the expedient of using Easy Line, which did not react well to the sloppiness of some of my gluing and had resulted in some very, very kinked lines, and it was going to be a total disaster in terms of how it looked, combined with a broken cabane strut on the right-hand side, the right front cabane strut. You can see now that that cabane strut is missing. You can also see that the dangling easy lines are all gone. Now I'm reminded this morning of a song sung by Maureen McGovern in the movie The Poseidon Adventure decades and decades ago. There's got to be a morning after if we can hold on through the night. We have a chance to find the sunshine. Let's keep on looking for the light. Oh, can't you see the morning after? It's waiting right outside the storm. Why don't we cross the bridge together and find a place that's safe and warm? It's not too late. We should be giving. Only with love can we climb. It's not too late, not while we're living. Let's put our hands out in time. There's got to be a morning after we're moving closer to the shore. I know we'll be there by tomorrow and we'll escape the darkness. We won't be searching anymore. Well, I'm not saying the storm is over, but I got the crap out of the SE5A, those secured, somewhat misplaced anchor points, which were a little bit of the problem. All of that Verdampton easy line, which I never should have used in the first place. And you'll see that there's a blank space over on the right-hand side of the cockpit there. I mean, the, the fuselage, the cowling. I have removed the broken cabane strut, and I did have to remove the right rear cabane strut in order to get at the anchor points. Uh, around surrounding that strut. Now the trick, I think, will be getting, um, seeing whether I can repair the broken cabane strut. If not, I'll fashion one out of evergreen plastic. And then to get both of those cabane struts back in place without having to, God forbid, remove the top wing. That could have some issues in terms of the contact points on the wing spars, and I don't want to have to deal with that. Of course, if I do have to remove the top wing, which means that I'm going to do the cabane struts first, of course, at that point, uh, it'll make putting the anchor points back in. That's not going to be fun, securing those on the underside of the wing. Uh, much easier to do it with wing detached, but we're not there anymore. I'm waiting for the Stroft monofilament 0.12 millimeter line to come across the Atlantic and arrive at my doorstop or step. Um, that's what I'm going to be using going forward. Never again. Never say never. It's going to take a lot of memory loss um, and rationalization to use Easy Line again for rigging and definitely not uh, in closed and tight spaces, even on a larger aircraft like this. But all is not lost. Um, this is going to get done. Um, I think I'm just going to be happy that I managed to pull off a lot of anchor points and get the cabane struts out without blowing up the uh, plane. And... Uh, uh, I'm going to wait to attach new anchor points uh, until, of course, I do the repair on the cabane struts. And by that time, the new monofilament rigging line should be here. Thanks for all the support, and I appreciate the suggestions I got. Um, uh, there was indeed a morning after. The storm has not gone completely away. There's danger of, of strong winds, but I think I've escaped the worst. I can always remain optimistic. Thanks for watching.